This appears man-made. Did the Chinese government know? I think you know the answer. Piece I had discussed yesterday, I said I would talk about in detail today because it lays it out, fingerprints and all, how this appears to be a man-made virus. Wall Street Journal must read piece. The science suggests a Wuhan lab leak. The COVID-19 pathogen has a genetic footprint that has never been observed in a natural coronavirus. Quay and Mueller, I I discussed this yesterday. Just to be clear, reading that headline again for the liberals who can't read, this has never, there's a code in the coronavirus that has killed millions of people that does not exist naturally in nature. Not, actually, let me be clear. Precision matters. I'm not saying it hasn't been seen yet. It could exist. We're going to do actual reporting here, unlike the media. We have not seen it yet, but we have seen it somewhere. This code in the coronavirus. I'll get to that in a second. Let's go to screenshot number one from this incredible piece about this code fingerprint coronavirus, which makes me think that the Chinese government has a whole lot to hide. Quote, in gain of function research, a microbiologist can increase the lethality of a coronavirus enormously by splicing a special sequence into its genome at a prime location. Doing this leaves no trace of manipulation but it alters the virus's spike protein, rendering it easier for the virus to inject its genetic material into the victim's cell. Since 1992, there have been at least 11 separate experiments adding a special sequence to the same location. The end result has always been supercharged viruses. Are we looking at a supercharged virus now? way it motored through our population and mowed down millions of people makes me believe it was supercharged. You don't have to be a virologist or epidemiologist to know that. Body bags are body bags, whether you got an MD behind your name or not. Was this a supercharged virus? Who supercharged it? Who paid to supercharge it? Was it a weapons program? Did it leak out? Why were the Chinese working on a vaccine before it may have leaked out? Did it leak out on purpose? These would all be important questions if we had a functioning media, but we don't. Part two of this piece, although the double CGG, this is what I talked about yesterday. This is a code. All you have to think about is a code, like a blueprint. These very specific base compounds code for proteins in a virus. Just think of it as a computer code. There's a line in this code, the virus, called the double CGG. It's suppressed naturally. But the opposite is true in laboratory work. In other words, folks, the CGG code in coronavirus now, naturally, we don't see it. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. We have not seen it. But in laboratory work, it's everywhere. Why? Because the insertion sequence of choice is the double CGG. That's because it's readily available, convenient, and scientists have a great deal of experience inserting the CGC. In other words, inserting the code into a virus to make it more lethal. We have a ton of experience with that. An additional advantage of the double CGG sequence compared with the other 35 possible choices, colon, it creates a useful beacon that permits the scientists to track the insertion in the laboratory. Now, the damning fact. It was this exact CGG sequence that appears in SARS-CoV-2. Proponents of zoonotic origin, meaning it came from animals, must explain why this novel coronavirus, when it mutated or recombined, happened to pick its least favorite combination, the double CGG. Why did it replace the choice the lab's gain-of-function researchers would have made? Why did it replicate the choice the lab's gain-of-function researchers would have made? So you get the takeaway? We've got this hallmark in the code, this double CGG, and this code the virus has to code for proteins. We have yet to see it in nature, but we see it a whole lot in lab research where lab researchers are trying to make viruses super powerful and, quote, supercharged. That's in the coronavirus. You know, if we had a functioning media again, you'd say in some circles we would call that, we'd call that a clue. See, I was a federal agent before. That's not really a big deal. Um, You don't have to be a federal agent or a cop or any kind of high-level detective. (laughs) You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to figure out that we would call that a clue. So you got a code and a virus that really only appears in lab work when you want to supercharge viruses. Gee, that's in the coronavirus? Maybe we should look at that. 
Here's part three, and I want to remember. I want you to remember this name very, very well. When the lab talking about the Chinese lab, the the WIV Wuhan Institute of Virology, when the lab's Zhi Zheng Li, otherwise known as the Bat Lady, and colleagues published a paper in February of 2020 with the coronavirus's partial genome. Wow, this is convenient, folks. They omitted any they omitted any mention of the special sequence that supercharges the virus or the rare double CGG section. They just left that out. That's it's really weird how they left that out. Yet the fingerprint, the CGG fingerprint, is easily identified in the data that accompanied the paper. Was it omitted in the hope that nobody would notice this evidence of the gain of function origin? Gee, I don't know. I don't they left that out. They left that out. Fellas, they left it out. Weird. The bat lady who studies coronaviruses at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, where the virus is thought to have leaked from. It's weird how she left the one part out in the paper, the double CGG, which would seem to indicate that that was inserted by human beings to make the virus more powerful. Gosh, what an oversight. Yeah, honest mistake. He's right. Uh, Joe, honest mistake? R- r- yeah. Pretty much, right? Just, yeah. You think so? Sure. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Well, she's left Come it on, out. Uh. Yeah, she forgot. Didn't have coffee. She didn't have coffee that morning. Didn't have, didn't, she forgot. She needed caffeine. She was short on caffeine. Just forgot to leave out only the most important thing that the double CGG, which we haven't seen yet in nature, appears in the coronavirus. Just forgot her Java. Green tea, black tea, Viverin, whatever caffeine pills you take. Totally forgot it. Okay, so I said part A was going to address two components of this. Is this man-made, which now I think is likely, if not fairly obvious, yes, it appears. And second, did the Chinese government know? And what did Fauci and the U.S. government know? And why were they covering for the bat lady, Xi Zheng Li, and her partner, Peter Daszak, from the EcoHealth Alliance, who was funding a lot of this work through our taxpayer dollars, which was being sent to the bat lady? 